Hi everybody, Andrea here. Thank you for your patience. I'm doing the video today of my new pink mobile cart. I love this color. How cool is this? My shirt actually matches. That was not intentional at all. But I'm gonna show you guys what I bring with me to my mobile dental hygiene appointments. I'm gonna move the webcam so you can see the actual size of it. And then I'll kind of show you guys um, inside it, okay? So I love that it's on wheels. Here we go. So this is the cart. So it's a really great size. It's not heavy. It's super fantastic. So sorry for the moving of the camera, kind of mumbo jumbo here, but I figured that was the easiest. So now I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to show you guys what this is all about. So I love that it has very sturdy locks. Great for kids when they're kind of playing around, messing around. So I'm opening this up. I'm gonna bring the webcam over here, okay? So I can show you guys exactly how I did everything. So when it closes, it looks like this. I have the uh, thermometer, the oxygen saturation, my polishing um, handpiece here, and um, the shade guide. So I just kind of did this as just so I don't forget anything. So I kind of have it set up for the video. Um, if you guys have any questions, please just let me know. So I kind of have like extra things here. Again, this is just mainly to show you guys in the video what you could have. What I do is my like tray covers, bibs, set them aside, but look how much room is in there. These are the main things and my cord actually doesn't go. Ah, there we go. Um, these are the main things that I would need for my appointments. Polishing paste, my um, different heads for my polisher, lots of gauze, the little um, containers here for the sodium uh, um, diamond fluoride, uh, sorry, silver diamond fluoride, and the like polishing cups sometimes, the fluoride, the desensitizer that I use, bib clips, the little sort of cover for my polisher. You get the idea. Um, Dappin dishes for my piezo. I'm gonna put these back to show you guys the rest. But how cool is that? So basically for the most part, I would just be opening this for my appointments and then putting it on to a separate tray. Now I'm putting the webcam back here. Again, you guys, sorry for the unprofessional moving of the webcam, but whatever. You guys just wanna see what's inside. If I had somebody holding it for me, that'd be better. So then I lock it back up and then there are locks to the side, which I'll show you for, for um, the next one closer. There's locks to the side to lift up each part when you're ready for it. So let's just say you wanted this only, I don't know, you can just take this with you. Super easy, right? So I had opened up one. This is what I happen to have. Oh, you saw my slippers. <laughs> this is what I happen to have in the second one. So this is what I plan to use as the tray, mainly because I like that it has a lid here. So these I got from the dollar store. Super simple here. I can put the instruments in here, everything here, and then just disinfect this when I'm done with it. So let's say I'm at the patient's house. I could put that on the table. I could even open this up if I wanted to. So isn't that cool how you can really, sorry, I should pull that out a bit. I'm doing this with one hand. It's just, oh, it's so easy, you guys. I wish I bought this sooner. Um, my friend Kathy, she purchased this for her mobile practice and I realized I had to have it. So let's just say you needed to quickly grab something. I don't know. I would personally shut this while I'm cleaning teeth, just so you don't contaminate everything else with aerosols, whatever. But if you needed to grab something, see how easy that is. Okay. So just going to close that for a second. You get the idea. So the next one. I like to keep my like tooth models, Amazon tooth models, by the way, I'm more than happy to link that for you guys on the bottom. Actually, these were all from Amazon, except for this, which is from the dollar store. So that's in the second compartment. Those latches that, that I were talking about, these things here. So I'm going to unlock the next one with two hands. I 
what? Can I just leave that there for you guys? That looks nicer, doesn't it? So sorry, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm lifting up the next one. I'm gonna show you guys the next one. This one's fun. Any idea what's coming next? Sample box. Woo -woo. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. So I like to put all my kind of samples in here. What I like to do to be super organized is I is I do actually prepare a bag for my patient before I see them. So then I just have to give it to them. But sometimes you're kind of like, oh, I kind of need an extra toothbrush or something, right? So then you could easily grab that from here. Look at this. I have great toothbrushes, samples, a Wicked White Pro kit, my favorite toothpaste of all time, floss picks, you get the idea. Lots of goodies in here. So that is in the second compartment. Guess what? There's another one. That's almost my favorite. I'm trying to show you guys my face, but it kind of looks weird, doesn't it? Sorry, okay. So, oh my God, you guys, can you guess what's in the last compartment? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. It's one of my favorites because look at the size. It's nice and, you know, large, it's deep to fit your necessities. Guess what those are? So this is where I put dirty instruments at the end of the appointment. I have my disinfecting wipes in here. I have the hearts or um, a spray disinfectant because I like to spray first, let it sit for a minute and then use the wipes afterwards. That's just a personal preference. I've just always done that. It makes me feel like I'm cleaning better. I have a bunch of um, nitrile gloves. I use these again, purchased from the dollar store to clean afterwards so I don't prick myself with any dirty instruments. My instruments I keep here. Um, like I said, my instruments, just a bunch here. My chargers for my loops, I keep there. Some cheek retractors for if I'm taking like certain intraoral photos and just some extra samples that I couldn't keep in the, in the other compartment because they're a little bit taller. My blood pressure cuff, I have a night guard sample to show people. Pretty cool, eh? So I love how this is on the bottom. I can literally put my annoying stuff in here. It looks so good, so organized. Like, doesn't this just make you guys excited to start cleaning teeth? I don't know, it makes me excited. I don't know, am I crazy? But look, you guys, so all of these little compartments, I just kind of put anywhere. But all of those, yep, there's my slippers again. All of those little compartments are so amazing. So that's way too low. Oh, I almost fell off my chair because I'm sitting on my pillow. I'm just going to move that for you guys. I'm putting it all back together. Um, do you guys have any questions about anything? I'm definitely going to leave the link to the cart for you guys. I got one of the glove Ziploc bag stuff. I suppose I don't really have to put this together now, do I? You guys want the video. I'll do that afterwards. But do you guys have any questions? I'll leave the link for you guys down below for the cart. The best money I've spent, I want to say I spent around $200 for it. The pink one was less expensive than the black one. So I got the pink one. And I must say the pink makes me happy. I'm really glad I got it. I almost forgot you guys. You see this bag here? So along with the cart, I bring this bag, branding, Vistaprint, there you go. My bag, I could probably even fit this all in here too, but I like having a separate bag for when I go to a patient's house and I go to use the washroom to change into my PPE. I like having a separate bag that I take with me and don't necessarily leave in the room with the patients. So I have my expensive loops. I got this case from the dollar store, my loops in there with my light. I like having a little container like this for like the safety glasses. When I sell a mouthwash or something, I put it in my dollar store sales book just to keep track. I have lots of different sunglasses in here for kids. I like to say to them, do you want the green one or do you want the orange one? They really have fun picking their own sunglasses. 
I bought these in bulk at Smile Makers Canada. I'm more than happy to leave you guys a link for that on the bottom. What else do I have in here? Oh, toy box for the kids. I disinfect these toys after every household. Every household gets a new toy box. Can you guys see that? Yes, it's in a Boston Pizza Tupperware container, but easy to disinfect. As I'm spilling things, I have some gowns in here so I never forget. I have stickers for kids to pick a sticker. Kids love stickers. I have this handy dandy chart that if a, a patient, if I'm just trying to show something to them, this is a really handy chart to just kind of show different areas of the mouth. This Amazon, I can link that for you guys on the bottom too. And my K95 masks, hair caps in here, clean, of course. Um, that's what I have in here. Like lip balm, this is where I keep my wallet. This is where I keep, um, those are kind of the main things, my like car keys, things like that all in here. Because I do like keeping that close by and I can shut it if I need to. It's just full right now because I'm doing the video and not very, not putting things in how I normally would, but isn't that nice? So I literally bring that pink cart that I had shown you guys. I do have more pictures on the Facebook group of the pink cart. Definitely join the group if you haven't already. Um, the Facebook group is where I do most of my updates. If I take time off, I post in the Facebook group. So if you email me and I don't answer, check the Facebook group, see if I'm off that day. I'm not ignoring you. I just took time off. Any additional like updates, YouTube videos, podcasts, I post in the Facebook group. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like the video, click subscribe so you know when new videos are coming. I would love that, you guys. Thank you so much. And comment, let me know if you need anything. I'm working on responding to comments quicker. My apologies, I'm working on it. Thank you for your patience. I look forward to talking to all of you guys soon again. Thank you for watching. I've said that, click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.